everybody. Welcome to Conversations with Cupid. I'm your host, Marla Martinson, and I'm back with Stephanie Barton. Hey, Stephanie. Hi. It's the angel lady, and we are talking Christmas time and angels. So I cannot wait to talk how we can connect with our angels, why Christmas time is the perfect time to do it, and Stephanie's going to give us a little background on angels and um, how we can connect. So let's talk angels and Christmas. Yes. Well, I, I love the Christmas season just because there's such an openness and, and a presence for angels in our midst. And what's wonderful about angels is that they're not about any particular holiday season. They're really about love. And love is timeless and it's seasonless, and so are our angels. But during this time of the year, we tend to be a little more aware of that and, and desiring the connection with all that. So, but angels are not about a religion. They're not about dogma. They're not about guilt or suffering. Angels are about living the life with love. Mm. And so it is a wonderful time to connect with them. Exactly. And like you said, angels are not connected to, even though angels are mentioned in the Bible and every religion uh, in, mm -hmm. in, the, in the historical texts and books, the angels are mentioned, but they were here before any religion was invented <laughs> or discovered. Absolutely. Our awareness of, of that presence, of that loving presence or that higher essence, as a, as a human species, as a race, we've been aware of that even before we developed religion. Because angels are not about religion. Angels are truly about love mm -hmm. and about having our priorities straight and refocusing when we tend to lose track, which I think is another reason to be open to that connection during the holidays. It's so easy to get caught in the hustle and bustle and to worry about the gifts and the stuff. And our angels remind us what's really important is the connections and the family and those moments that we share that really come from love. Exactly. The, it's Christmas and holiday time has been so commercialized and it's become even politically correct. You can't say Merry Christmas anymore or, you know, even people mm -hmm. are up in arms about Starbucks uh, cups because they're just red and they don't have any Christmas trees or snowflakes so there's all this you know all over the news and on Facebook about Starbucks uh, is anti-Christmas and all of this stuff mm -hmm. it's the things that us humans get caught up in the ego and and all of that and um, yeah you know I, I how how could we how would you think the angels would what do you think they would tell us um, to kind of get back to what it's all about instead of all of this you know as what is um, after Thanksgiving, what's the big uh, sale, you know, Black Friday, oh, Black Friday, Black Friday yeah. and after holiday sale and all of this people, the frenzy uh, that it causes, you know, and stress. It shouldn't be stressful. No, it, it, life should never be stressful. There should not be that pressure. And I think that's what our angels can so beautifully remind us of is what really is important. And the important things are always the simplest things. It's just the kind gestures. It's those moments that we can support one another. It's not getting caught in the perfectionism and the, the consumerism. But our angels can help us be focused in our hearts and having that intention that no matter how the gift looks, that the giver is able to give with love. That's really what it's about. I remember when I was a kid and, and one of my mom's friends was, uh, she was a single mother, her, her husband had passed away and she had three children and, and I remember her saying that you know, it was like you know, way after Christmas and she said I'm still paying off uh, Christmas gifts on my credit card, I mean for months and months and months right. and, and it shouldn't right. put people into debt, it shouldn't put, the, the, the focus shouldn't be on, on gifts, it's just, and, yeah. and even I, I always get, am surprised when people will say well we're going to celebrate Christmas after Christmas because then we can get, buy more gifts and it'll be on sale, it's like that's not even, it's so, it's, no. it's made all about just buying things. Right, it's become almost a competitive sport. You know, who can get the sale first and who can wake up the earliest and stay up the latest? Yeah. And that is really not what it's about. You will never find me sleeping on the sidewalk in a tent at 3 a.m. to get it to sale in the morning. Oh, oh, come on now. I know you're shacking it up outside. <laughs> 
<laughs> but even, you know, I made, last year I made uh, little dog biscuits, homemade dog biscuits for organic, you know, made them real special with the, these little bone shaped and I gave those as gifts to my friends with dogs. And I think something mm -hmm. simple and from the heart that people can use is, is something yeah. great instead of going out and spending because we, we spoke in another video about space clearing. I mean, and as we get yeah. older, who needs more stuff? It's like now... Yeah. At my age, I don't want anybody to give me anything. I'd rather have an experience, which is a massage or a mani-pedi, maybe a nice candle, a class, uh, you know, at, at a local, uh, you know, spiritual workshop or something, a yoga mm -hmm. class, or buy someone one yoga class or one, you know, something yeah. that, that they can bring something to their life instead of clutter up their environment, right? And then, you know, Absolutely. then they could just re-gift it. <laughs> right. Right, and those experiences do help us to clear. They help us to get back to our essence, which is where our angels are. Our angels aren't wrapped up in a package. Our angels are right here, staying with us in our hearts. So yes, those experiences lend themselves so beautifully to reconnecting to what's real. And, to and what's you guys, important. I have the best Christmas gift idea for you. Buy yourself or one of your friends or family a session with Stephanie to get an angel reading. Hey, what a an better... angel reading is perfect. I mean, what a great holiday <laughs> gift. Yeah, and that is one of my favorite things to do. Just personally, if I have friends and other people that I love to just gift time yes. of those connections because that is a gift that does change. It's life changing. It's life -changing. More so than maybe a tie. <laughs> Absolutely. You guys, I had a reading with Stephanie and she meant, I mean, I, I expected to connect with my angels, but you connected with my dad. You said my grandmother's first name. I mean, you were given names and, and specifics and, and it was just like, oh, it was so amazing to connect with my grandmother and my dad and uh, experience mm -hmm. like that. You can't, you know, you can't buy I mean you're paying you to do it but you can't buy it <laughs> you just can't buy that at the store it's it's just such a profound yeah. profound experience so I that's the kind of thing I love and myself as a healer I love giving you know a Reiki session or something like that mm -hmm. it's just you know we've got to help each other and spread the love and uh, yeah you know, I guess the retail stores wouldn't like me saying this but <laughs> but try to stay out of the mall <laughs> Mm -hmm. I agree. Out of the mall and into your heart. That's the best place to find right. those true gifts. Exactly. Because our gifts are the, the things that we share with one another that you can't package up or, or sell on a shelf. Those things come from the heart. Exactly. Well, Stephanie, thank you so much. And everybody, much blessings and happy holiday season. Bye. Absolutely. Go Angels. Go Angels.